Alright guys, I'm going to be showing you how to install CyanogenMod 10 on your Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Now this is the AT&T version, but it also works with the T-Mobile Galaxy Note 2, so keep that in mind. Now I will provide a link in the description, which will take you to this page. You're going to want to read the full thread, trust me. I read it, it's not that long, there's only like a few posts, but you need to read it to find out what's working, what you need to do. So, now here are the known issues. The stylus does not work, of course, because it's CM10 based, but radio crashes every now and then. So, if you're worried about making phone calls, this isn't the ROM for you. Audio and phone call works after the second phone call, and you have to do that on every boot. But I'm, you're going to download the December 8th update. Now, it's going to be a 7 zip file, so you are going to have to unzip that and you will get a folder and inside that folder you will find the actual ROM zip now if you go through the thread on the 17th page I believe it was now there was an update like it was it's a minor update that you flash over the ROM so that's why I'm saying you need to read the entire thread but I will post a link I will be posting a link to the thread itself but it's your job to, you know, read the entire thing and don't blame me or the developer for you not following the thread. Now you're going to want to press and hold volume up, the home button, and power button all at the same time. Now when you see the Samsung logo pop up, let go of the power button, but keep holding volume up and the home button. This will boot you into Clockwork Mod Recovery or Twerp. I have Clockwork Mod because I like that one, but it's just personal preference it does take a minute to boot into the recovery so just give this a second here I'm not sure if you're supposed to keep holding it through the entire process but I do so you see you can use the on-screen buttons but I'm just gonna use the volume rockers and the power button so what we're gonna want to do first is go to wipe data factory reset hit the power go up to yes see it's wiping all user data and data wipe is complete so we are going to go to wipe cache partition we are going to go to yes wipe the cache partition alright and that is done so we're going to go to advanced wipe dalvik cache and yes wipe dalvik cache that didn't even take a second so we're gonna go back we're gonna install a zip from SD card choose zip from SD card and I believe I put this in my download folder so yes here it is CM10 12 2012 1208 the unofficial we're gonna hit the power button we're gonna go up to yes install going down here it's installing the update package now remember read the entire thread because when you download it it'll be a 7 zip just unzip that and you will have a folder and that folder is the ROM package so just re remember to do that and you'll be okay so I'm not sure how long this will take but it shouldn't take too long now you are also going to need the G apps so if you don't have the G apps you're gonna need to install those I recommend using the latest now we are going to go back and we are going to go back to choose it from SD card. We are going to go back to our folder where we downloaded it. And we are going to install the new RAG CM10. This is the fix by the way that's located on I believe page 17 on XDA developers. And we are going to go to yes. That doesn't take too long. Now. I'm going to install the G apps later, but you would want to install the G apps, you know, now after you flash the ROM. But I was I'm going to install them later, so but if you want the Google Play Store, Gmail, stuff like that, make sure to install the G apps as soon as you flash CM10. So this shouldn't take too long to boot up. But I wanted to wait to install the G apps to have the clean experience and to see if I liked it. 
So I'm going to see how this ROM is, and if I like it, I'm going to be using it, and I, I will install the uh, G apps. But if I don't, then I'm just going to revert back to my backup that I created. We see the Cyanogen Mod 10 boot animation, which just looks awesome on the screen. Kind of get this centered a little bit. So it shouldn't take too long to boot up. I'm just going to run through a quick little, you know, walk through. Now, like I said, to get calling to work, just make two phone calls. And then on the third phone call, the audio will work. For camera, I'm not so sure if the camera will work, but we can give it a shot. Make yourself at home. Click OK. And here is Cyanogen Mod 10. Let's jump right into settings, actually. Wow, this is smooth. So go to About Device. We are running 4.1.2, so make sure you grab the G apps for that. And see, we are running the Cyanogen Mod 10. Hit the Home button. Wow, that's like instant. Press and hold Home. I wonder if I double tap. Nope. Open up the app drawer. So we have Apollo. We have the browser. Let's go to the camera. Camera does work. Nice. We have the Cyanogen Mod 10 file browser. We have their phone. We have Super User, Terminal Emulator. Let's try out the torch. See if the torch works. I'm gonna go to high brightness, click accept, check out the strobe. Whoa, yes. So torch works. Everything seems to be working actually. We have our toggles, we have statistics. We can clear everything. We can jump right into settings. Sorry, the device is kind of big, so I gotta tilt it a little bit. We can go under launcher, we got home screen, mess with grid size, the number of home screens, mess with the padding on the sides drawer not really much there we can also auto rotate it so that's kinda cool so the home screen rotates like a little mini tablet sorta sorry for that being out of focus try to get it back in there there we go under lock screen we can have I think we can have face unlock nope I'm not seeing face unlock but that may be a Google thing we can change the clock alignment so I'm going to try out the center clock, battery status, owner info. Um, let's turn on the weather, update interval, you can have your calendar, can we have, you can have five shortcuts, which is pretty nice. Button actions, so we can choose what long press on the back does, long press on home and menu. Let's go back. We do have the theme chooser, nice. System, let's see what we can do here. You can show the clock, you can show your AM, PM style if you want. Battery icon, I'm going to do the circle. You got the nice CM circle. Actually, can we do circle with percentage? Yes. I'm going to use that one. Show notification count. Brightness control. If auto brightness is not checked, you can check that and it works. So let's go back. Notification drawer. Widget buttons. So we can choose any of these that we want. So I'm just going to choose those to show you guys. And we can also choose their order and have haptic feedback, hide scroll bar, stuff like that. Choose what's in the power menu. So when you long press on the power, you get this. So if you want to take that screenshot right away. So let's go back. Hardware keys. Enable custom actions. So home press, like home key long press, we can choose what that does which is kinda nice so if you want it to do the voice search like Google now you can have that menu key open close menu we can change that to well anything so that's kinda nice so let's go back let's go back and so this isn't you know my full review or anything like that but I just wanted to show you guys the CM10 preview builds so this is the lock screen can we just jump right into camera <laughs> Alright, so maybe you can't just jump right into camera, but I guess, you know. So, camera doesn't show up if you do that, but I wonder if we go back. Okay, so camera's a little bit iffy, but, you know, nothing really major. You just gotta worry about camera being iffy at times. 
try to get back to the home screen. There we go. And it'll just force close, and then you can open it back up, you know. No big deal. But that is my how to install Cyanogen Mod 10. I'm trying to get it into focus. How to install Cyanogen Mod 10 on your AT&T Galaxy Note 2. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Get focused before we leave. Alright guys.